Hello and welcome to everybody on my channel Cloud Fitness. So today we are going to talk about how we can handle errors in Databricks. Typically there are two ways to handle errors in Databricks. The first is the mode method and the second is a bad record path. So we are going to talk about both of these in detail today. When you talk about mode method, it has three subtypes. The first one, let's talk about permissive. In permissive, all the error values will be saved in a different column itself. And you can actually specify the name of the column. And the error values inside the data frame will be saved as null. When you talk about dro uh, drop malformed, as the name suggests, right? Uh, all the error values, all the rows that have error values in them, they will actually get dropped off. So very good uh, mode if you want to, uh, you know, only pass on uh, the good records. Now the third uh, mode method is fail fast. So this is also something like uh, with the name itself, you can identify that whenever there is an error, whenever there is an issue with the data, it will actually throw an error and the execution will stop. Now, the second method, bad record path. In this, you actually specify a path where you want to save your error uh, rows. So basically, it redirects it redirects all your error rows into a separate file where uh, and the path to that file, you actually specify that. Now, let's uh, see how we can uh, handle error using permissive mode method. So when you can see on my screen the command file, so this is basically I'm just establishing a schema. So I have an iris file, uh, iris data set I'll be mostly using in all my videos. So you can actually download the iris data set online. It is free data set uh, for flowers. Now uh, in command five, I have just defined the structure, uh, the schema of my file. So my file has uh, sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width and species. So these are the columns. However, just to point to note here, in the line number five, I have also defined corrupt underscore record. So this column is actually uh, my column. This actually is a column where all my error rows will come. So when I talked about permissive in the first place, I explained that my all entire uh, error row will be saved as a separate column. So I need to specify the name of the column while giving the schema itself. So this is what I have done. So above five columns are actually the columns in my file and the fifth uh, and the sixth corrupt record. That is a column where I want my all the corrupt records to show up. Now, so this is the data frame spark.read.csv and this is the path exactly where my file I have saved. I have saved my file in DBFS, Databricks file system and the separator is comma and yes, header is true. If you don't specify header equal to two, then actually you will end up not, uh, you know, you will not have a good structure of your data in the data frame. So we can talk about this later when I will make a video on data frames and RDD. So uh, I have also done data frame dot show. So it has total of 21 records. So what you see on my screen right now. So these are the actual rows which are inside my data frame, which are inside my CSV. So as you can see here, the sepal length, it is text one. Similarly, the sepal width, it is text two, though it is a float column. And I have mentioned in my schema earlier that it is a float column, but I can see the bad data here. I have text one, uh, I have a var char, I have a char character inside a float column. So now coming down this to the command to the command seven. So this is how actually I define the permissive method. So while creating a data frame, I am reading while reading. I have to give the option of mode equal to permissive. So this is where you define your error handling while reading uh, through the file while reading through the file. You can actually specify the mode to be permissive. You can specify the mode to be fail fast. You can specify your mode to be drop malformed. And then since it is a permissive mode, I am actually mentioning another option where I am specifying that I need a specific column named as corrupt record, which I've already given in my schema. 
I want all my corrupt records to be stored there. So this is basically corrupt underscore record is the name of the column that I specifically want. Then I'm reading it. I'm reading my file from the CSV. I'm just mentioning that yes, my header is true and I'm mentioning the schema. So this is the schema where I have actually defined how my structure should look like. In this schema, I have mentioned corrupt underscore record as I mentioned earlier. And then I'm just trying to get the data from my data frame, which I've just now created and the name I have specified for clarity uh, purpose data frame underscore permissive. So when you see here, just check, uh, just make a note here that all the text one, text two that I wrote, right? So all the bad data has actually shown up as null in my data frame. So my data frame has only null value, null in place of the uh, var care characters that I had in my float columns. Also, you can see under this corrupt record, we have uh, the whole record where uh, there was an issue where there was bad data. So in this row, uh, the text one was uh, in place of sepal length, which has actually turned out to be null. So it has uh, made the whole row as null and it has specified the corrupt record in itself. So this is how we can handle uh, bad data using permissive method. Now coming on to handling error using drop malformed. So see guys, I have already created a structure. I have already created the schema, so I'm not recreating it. Now uh, in the similar way, I have drop malformed. I am mentioning the option mode drop malform and also this is uh, your choice if you want to have this uh, particular column you can have so since in my uh, schema i have already added one column named as corrupt record so i am just showing it showing it up here if you don't want to have this column as corrupt underscore record you can simply remove it that's not a problem so when you talk about this drop malform it is similar in terms of how you define it except for uh, this uh, column named as corrupt record, which you specify separately. So you can remove it from drop malform and this is how your data will look like when you actually show it uh, from the data frame. So you can actually see all the records where my text fields were there in, in the float columns, they are actually removed from here. So I don't see those rows itself so this is what drop malformed is so if and again to mention if you don't want to keep this column you can simply remove it that's not a problem i used it because i have already created a schema with corrupt underscore record now in the similar way we have fail fast mode so here also uh, same way option mode fail fast and coming on to this column, as I've already mentioned, this is something that I have carried out. You can remove it as well. Now, in this in this uh, fail fast method, so as so actually it has uh, you know identified that there are error rows, and since it has identified, it has actually thrown out an error. So it has done nothing, and it has thrown out this error. You can you know create try an exception for this error as well if you want to in your code. Now. Coming on to the another method, which was, you know, redirecting your error records to a separate file. So that is again done through the bad records path. Now you can see here, I have named uh, my data frame as bad record. So I'm reading the file. I'm reading .csv. I, my, my file is a CSV file. And I have mentioned my schema, which I've defined earlier. I have mentioned he header equal to two, and I have mentioned the path of the file where my file resides. Now, I am also mentioning the path where I want my error uh, error records to get loaded. So if I go here for the for the bad record path, so this is the path that actually I defined uh, Databricks. So I have a, in DBFS, I have a folder named as Databricks. So there actually I'm storing my bad records. So when you show this data frame and when you execute this command, you will actually see that all your uh, error records will show up as null. All your error records will show up as null and your bad records will move to this location in DBFS. 
so this is pretty much and uh, again just to mention here i should not miss this point that yes corrupt underscore record this is something i have mentioned in the schema that is why it is getting uh, uh, carried forward here otherwise this corrupt underscore record column is only for permissive mode so guys this is pretty much how we can handle errors in uh, the data breaks do let me know in the comment section if you want me to make the, you know a video in an on another topic or if you have any doubts on the same thank you so much